Welcome back to Wine Du Jour. We are now tasting the 2009 Bridal Wood Estates Cabernet Sauvignon coming to us from the Paso Robles area uh, in Central California, although the winery is up in Healdsburg in, in Sonoma. I want to tell you something. This particular Cabernet Sauvignon coming from Paso Robles has a little molasses taste to it. Uh, it has a, a, a little bit of caramelized sugar to it that you might not normally see in a lot of Cabernet Sauvignon. And then more importantly, this has a little pomegranate in this Cabernet Sauvignon. And I have to tell you, that's not a common thing, but boy, it sure is a tasty thing here. And I've written down a few things in addition to uh, this beautiful risotto with the beef in it that the chef has put together. I've written down a couple things I like with Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, one of them is almost any kind of meat. That would be beef or pork. Uh, I love this with venison. It's very, very good. Uh, and while I was in uh, Italy uh, this last week, uh, I had rabbit for dinner, and this Cabernet Sauvignon was absolutely a great pairing. This kind of Cabernet Sauvignon goes extremely well with a lot of Mexican cuisine. So it's not just uh, the risotto, it goes with a lot of other things uh, as well. 2009 is the year. And, and I just might mention also that if they have 2009 or whatever year on the label, that's the year the grapes were grown. That's not necessarily the year that they put it in the bottle, but it's the year the grapes came out of the field, if you will. That's the law. Everywhere in the world, it's the very same way. Uh, this is a reasonably priced Cabernet Sauvignon. Uh, you can drink this a little on the warm side, meaning more than 65 degrees if you wanted to. Uh, but around 65 degrees is about the perfect temperature to get the maximum amount of flavor and taste uh, from uh, the red wine. If you're drinking white wine, we like it a little bit colder than that, down around 52 to 55 degrees, uh, as opposed to uh, 65 or so. It is a big deal when it comes time to taste uh, the wines. Now just just so that you know, if you're tasting a wine that is, um, let's just say it's been in the refrigerator uh, for a couple hours, which is probably good, and you take it out and let it sit for a few minutes, pull the cork, um, take the cork out, maybe pour it in a glass and let it sit for 15 or 20 minutes, it's going to warm up from the temperature that it was coming out of the refrigerator, which is 39 degrees, and it's going to warm up and if it's a white wine, it's going to warm up to about 40-some. And once you swirl it and take a taste of it, it's probably going to be around 50 or so. And that means it's going to be the perfect temperature to taste the white wine. If it's red, give it about 20 minutes before you do the very same thing. It'll be another 10 degrees uh, and you taste it. Now, what's wrong with that? You know, there's nothing wrong with it if you understand that if it's too cold, you can't taste too much. If it's too warm, you taste things that you probably wish you hadn't, you know? I mean, there's always a few things in there that are not positive. And one way to discover that is to let it come to uh, 70 degrees and taste it. It's not even going to taste like the same wine. So try to keep the red around the 65 mark. Try to keep the white around the 55 mark, and you'll have no problem whatsoever. Boy, I have to tell you. Time flies when you're having a good time. I want to thank you for listening to Wines Is Your, America's number one wine syndicated radio and television show. We're here each week at this very same time, and if you've enjoyed tonight's broadcast, tell everyone you know. Want to know more about my favorite subjects? Log on to my personal website, leskincade.com, or visit Facebook or Twitter for Les Kincaid. I want to thank Cantina Laredo Restaurant for all their help and great food and service here. The Balti Wines from the Baja, California, Bridalwood Winery from Paso Robles, California, my broadcast engineer, Jeremy Knight, Carl Magno and Asian TV, high definition for making television in Las Vegas on cable, on direct TV, and all over Asia happen. From the left coast, from the east coast, and from all around the world on the internet, I'm Les Kincaid. Good night, everybody. My name is Brian Hedlund. My name is Dinora Prince. And uh, we've been to Wine du, du Jour a couple times. And uh, we really, really enjoyed the risotto. 
and the bridal wood. It was a good pairing. Um, I think we all had fun and we enjoyed it. And we always do, right? Yes, we have a yeah. good time tonight. Yeah. Thanks for watching Wines Du Jour. We had a great time here at Cantina Laredo. This is a wonderful Mexican restaurant in Las Vegas. You need to check it out. They also have some other stores around the country, so I hope you were able to hear the manager tell us a little bit about those. The wines from Balche in the Guadalupe Valley in Baja, California, absolutely wonderful. And then the third wine, which I love, the Cabernet Sauvignon in California. They're headquartered in Healdsburg, California. Thanks for watching Wines Du Jour and hope to see you next time.